HELPING TONIGHT, THE RIDER TRUCK COMPANY SENT A NOTICE TO THE STATE THAT THEY WERE LAYING OFF MORE THAN 430 PEOPLE AT A WAREHOUSE IN PLAINFIELD. WE'VE LEARNED THE COMPANY HAS LOST A CONTRACT WITH WHIRLPOOL, BUT ONLY ONE PERSON WILL ACTUALLY LOSE THEIR JOB. AS NEWS 8'S RICHARD ESSEX LEARNED, THE MOVE BY WHIRLPOOL COULD SPEAK VOLUMES ABOUT THE COMPANY'S FUTURE. RICHARD. THREE YEARS AGO, WHIRLPOOL ASKED PRESIDENT TRUMP FOR PROTECTION AGAINST FOREIGN COMPETITORS IN THE FORM OF TARIFFS. THE TARIFFS MAY NOT BE ENOUGH TO SAVE WHIRLPOOL. It is a familiar logo. The yellow circle through the Whirlpool name is a staple in household appliances. The name at the bottom of the sign may be a little confusing. Ryder, most commonly associated with rental trucks. Ryder is also in the logistics business, the management of moving parts and trucks all over the world. From this giant Plainfield warehouse, Ryder is moving Whirlpool parts, but not for long. Dr. Matt Will is an associate professor of finance at the University of Indianapolis. He says there is trouble on the horizon. You're trying to control your costs. You're trying to make a fixed cost and make it a variable cost. And that's exactly what Whirlpool did with Ryder. They knew eventually they would probably be closing the facility. They just didn't want to be on their shoulders. They wanted it to be on somebody else's. Ryder notified the state last Friday they will be closing this warehouse, which turned out to be partially true. As of July 12th, Ryder will no longer operate this warehouse. We don't know who it's going to be yet, but they're obviously going to find somebody. You have to distribute your appliances by some, some entity, but because it's a variable cost, because they outsource it, they can squeeze their vendors for more uh, cheaper costs. All but one of the current employees has been offered a position with the new logistics vendor. Changing vendors may save the company money in the short run, but their future, according to Dr. Will, is questionable. People in the industry knows Whirlpool has been push, pulling back in the appliance industry for many years. They regroup, they're trying to be more efficient. Now, I would say that Whirlpool is not a long-term player in the appliance business. We have reached out to Whirlpool today. The company did respond by email, but they didn't name the new logistics provider. In the studio, Richard Essex, Wish TV, News 8.